how many ml of 0.1 mhcl are required to react completely with 1 gram mixture of na2co3 and nahco3 containing equimolar amounts of both for doing this question you have to understand the context properly see here we have equimolar amount of na2co3 and nhco3 right so na2co3 we have nhco3 we have and what we are adding to this mixture we are adding hcl correct we are adding hcl listen carefully this question is very very important now what is happening they undergo reaction completely and you know what will happen when sodium carbonate and sodium hydrogen carbonate react with an acid you will get salt right nacl you will get h2o the products are same actually h2o and you will be getting carbon dioxide correct right okay now it's a stoichiometric question so balance it so you balance it okay you balance it like this as per stoichiometry you can clearly see that 1 na2co3 is reacting with 2 hcl and 1 nhco3 is reacting with 1 hcl 1 with 2 1 with 1 as per the question see we are using equimolar amount of both which means which means assume if you are using x mole of na2co3 the number of moles of nhco3 will be also x now what about hcl it should be definitely double right for one it is two so for x it should be two x and here for one N nhco3 you can see one hcl only so for x it should be x only what we are supposed to find how many ml of 0 0.1 m hcl see we are supposed to find the volume of hcl right and molarity is given and you know molarity is what number of moles of solute by volume so molarity is given if you find number of moles of hcl you can find the volume of hcl very easily okay so our aim is to find the number of moles of hcl required to react completely with na2co3 and nhco3 so what is that actually 2x and x that is 2x plus x that is 3x okay we can try to find that for na2co3 what is the molar mass molar mass will be 2 into 23 atomic mass of sodium is 23 plus carbon 12 oxygen 16 into 3 you will be getting like 106 for nhco3 molar mass will be what it will be equal to 23 plus 1 plus carbon is 12 plus oxygen is 16 into 3 on calculating you will be getting like 84 what is the equation for number of moles number of moles is equal to mass by molar mass right so what is mass mass of na2co3 is number of moles into molar mass what is number of moles we take it as x right x here x you can see so x into 106 and what about nhco3 again mass is equal to what same n into molar mass what is n n is same x right x equimolar so x into 84 correct so it is 84 x and here it is 106 x understand okay now as per the question what is the total mass of the mixture it is 1 gram what is the meaning of that see the mass of the mass of na2co3 plus the mass of nah CO3 is equal to 1. Correct, right? So, on adding, you will be getting 190x. So, what is x? x is 1 by 190. That is equal to 0 0.00526. Now, what is the total number of 
moles of HCl required to react completely with Na2CO3 and NaCO3. It is clear from the equation, right? It is 2x for Na2CO3 and x for NaCO3. So 2x plus x. So what is that? 3x. And you know the x value. What is that? 3 into 0 0.00526. On calculating, you will be getting like 0 0.01578. So, we got the total number of moles of HCl required for reacting completely with 1 gram mixture of Na2CO3 and NaHCO3. Once you get total number of moles of HCl, then it is very easy for you to find the volume because molarity is given, right? What is the equation? Molarity is equal to number of moles of HCl by volume in liter. So, what is volume? Number of moles by molarity. Correct. What is number of moles? We find it right. 0 0.01578 by 0 0.1. What is that? 0 0.1578 liter. If you want answer in milliliter, you can write like 157.8 milliliter. Both are okay.